Hello everybody, this is Mr. Rob and welcome back to episode number 5 of the Bobby Carter Championship Mode Series here on NASCAR Heat 5. Now it's been a while since we've had NASCAR on the channel all the way back to August 8th was episode number 4. But this has been on my hard drive for a while and I kind of wanted to get rid of it, kind of finally post it. So here it is. This could be the last NASCAR video on the channel. I'm not entirely sure. So if you want more NASCAR, make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below. So we're at Darlington for the first of two races here today. This is supposed to be the real Heroes 400 in real life. But since they had a busted, broken up COVID schedule, it's still listed at the Southern 500. So not going to waste any more time. We DNF last time at Phoenix. So let's jump right into qualifying here at Darlington Raceway. Coming off final turn, not the best qualifying lap. Uh, I'm not very good at Darlington to begin with, as we qualified 25th, so about middle back of the field. Darlington is a tough racetrack, that's why it's called the track too tough to tame, and I've had a hard time taming, it's just really narrow, but we qualified 25th, first goes to Martin Truex Jr., the former champion. So we'll start off about mid back of the field, see who, if anybody in front of us, got moved to the back of the field it doesn't look like we're still going to be in 25th position so that's good we'll be starting off on the inside going into the race take a look at a couple things looks like Ty Dillon moves to the back but he was behind us and Ryan Priest body mod modification so two guys that were behind us went to the back and we saw that Martin Truex had the pull so with that being said let's get ready to go racing here coming up on the final turn the pace car is in the pits and we are underway here at the Real Heroes 400. Across the front finish line, we're going to have 57 laps here in stage number one. And starting off on the low side, a little bit of a loose car it looks like. We're having a hard time staying on the turns, but we got some speed here. As we're coming off a of DNF back in Phoenix in the last episode, if you didn't, Make sure you go check that out. That'll be at the end of the video. It'll be the featured playlist. But if you like this NASCAR content, make sure you keep checking it out. Uh, I don't know how much of this series will be left on the channel. Uh, it hasn't been getting the love it wants. So if you like NASCAR, make sure you show out for this video if you want it to continue. As you get a little loose going into turn number one. But So starting off still in 24th. Got a good pace. Going to come up on the rookie Cole Custer. As well as Bubba Wallace in front of us. Kind of... I think we got a fast car. It's just hard to pass here at Darlington as we actually go below the apron here. It's just very narrow, basically too wide all the way around. And it looks like they're going to try to get underneath us, Haley. Uh, so we got to hold them off. So we're about a couple laps here into the first run. Oh, we go a little high here. Corey LaJoy hits the wall behind us. Uh, this is a tough track to hold a line, especially since you don't got much space as Haley actually just flew right past us. So sitting still at about 25th. So you get our first three laps in the book. Very loose coming off of turn three. Have to go really below. Um, it's going to take a couple laps to get used to this track, in my opinion, as Corley Joy tries to pass this down low. He does. So now sitting in 26. Looks like Martin Truex is still at the front of the field as we fall a little bit farther back. Coming through turns one and two we hit the back of LaJoy and LaJoy is going to spin out that one is all my fault is that's yeah going to bring out a caution just got into the back of LaJoy on the turn couldn't really do much about it wasn't a big hit but that was my fault uh for hopefully we don't see that a lot this race but nonetheless nothing you can do about it now so we're in at 25th position on the restart next to the seven time champion Jimmy Johnson so we'll see if this restarts a little better than the first one. Seven laps in, and the green flag is underway for the second time here at Darlington. Got a pretty good jump going into the first two turns. Looks like we're going to get past Bubble Walls for 24th. Work on Austin Dillon for 23rd. And we got a good run here. I think we have a solid car. It's just can we pass these cars cleanly? Martin Truex still has the lead going into the back straightaway. Get past Austin Dillon. Now sitting in 23rd. Got to get by Chris Buescher, who's sitting in 22nd. Start working our way up the field. We do have a win on the season. Oh, I get into Buescher. Oh, thank you. I'm glad he's able to straighten out. I don't want to cause another correct, but 
we do have a victory on the season. We won at Auto Club back at race number three. So we are qualified for the playoffs at the at the end of the year. So we already got that uh, monkey off our back. So just trying to earn some points here. As we're all the way up to 21st. Looks like we're going to get past Christopher Bell, who actually won the Daytona 500, beat us in a close finish. I remember I did move it up to the maximum difficulty, so this is 105%. As we get past Tyler Reddick as well, work our way into the top 20. So we got a good car here coming out of the restart. And now we're back up working on Haley for 19th. So we're going to get a good run on him. Can we pass him? He's kind of got both lanes. Going to try to go below him here. But Haley not got enough run to get past him. So 10 laps down here at Darlington Raceway. Darlington actually is my home track, so fun fact. I've never been to an NASCAR race. I would love to on the other side of this COVID situation, but it'd be fun to go to a race one day. But we're about 11 laps. Going to come into turn number three, the smaller side of the track. In case you haven't noticed, turns three and four are shorter and tighter than turns one and two, but we make the pass on Haley, get into 19th after 11 laps here at Darlington. All the way up to lap number 33 now in the 19th position, and we get loose. No, that's going to hurt. Hit the wall. Ooh, that's going to cause a caution. I don't know what happened. I think I just got below the apron, got a little loose, but that was unfortunate. We were still sitting in the same spot. It had been a pretty good race. Um, haven't really made any ground just been kind of running by myself but that's about to change nobody's gonna pit it looks like so yeah we're gonna go to the pits and obviously fix that damage get some new tires get a full tank of fuel and it does bump us back four spots so we're back in 23rd now starting on the inside of Austin Dillon but still got plenty of race to go in stage one lap 36 we're gonna have 21 laps on the restart as the green flag is back up in the air crossing the finish line Still got a very loose race car, a little loose in turn one, coming out of turn two. It's just been kind of the story all night. Been very loose, but able to control it so far as we sit in the 23rd. Now I'm going to work on Alex Bowman. There's a slow up. Somebody checked up. It looked like in both lanes had to hit the brakes right there. So we didn't run in, into anybody. And that kind of cost us some spots. We're falling all the way back. 23rd. Here comes Stenhouse trying to pass us. As we're all the way in 24th, now 25th, going side by side here in turns one and two. I don't like being side by side on this track. But we're going to get a nice solid run, get past him, Kevin Harvick, all the way in the back. Kyle Busch, Eric Almirola, a lot of big names back here. We're going to fly right past him. Look at that. But we get, ooh, this is a little too tight. Went into the turn a little too tight, and we got <laughs> Scar stacking up. Uh, unfortunately, somehow there was no wreck right there, but I kind of sent it into turn three way too fast but it looks like I'm making a lot of enemies this race but sitting in 24 it's just a tight field Kevin Harvick on our outside he won Las Vegas in the second race of the season as now we're starting to get past a lot 26 Kyle Busch gets loose right next to us it's just very very tight racing We come out of it 24th, crossing the finish line for the 30th, 9th, going into lap 40. 18 left laps left to go in stage one. Don't know if we're going to get points, get in the top 10, but we are working it. But it looks like we get away from the pack now in 22nd position. So, oh, loose coming out in turn three. I got to stop sending it so much in turn three. Turns three and four are way different than turns one and two. And I've had a hard time adjusting to that. So we got Almirola now on our tail. Trying to catch up to Bubba Wallace. Almirola is actually going to go underneath us. He had a good run coming off the front straightaway. Puts us back into 23rd. As Denny Hamlin is now leading the race. Denny Hamlin had a solid finish at Las Vegas in the second race of the season. As well as Phoenix. And he is leading the race here. As we're trying to get past Bubba Wallace ourselves coming to the line. And it looks like we're not going to be able to. And there's actually a caution. So somebody actually wrecked. And it wasn't us this time. So caution is out. Don't really know who it was. Looks like you can't really tell off the running order. 
But coming on the other side of the caution, the final lap here in stage one, we're sitting at 21st. And that's where we're going to finish stage one, 21st position. So kind of where we were running most of the race. I think the highest we got was 18th. But we have a good car, just got to fix a couple of things. So stage one winner was Denny Hamlin. So he will get playoff points for that one. As we had a solid stage one, hopefully we can improve up the field. We have a good car. I think we do have a top 15, maybe top 10 cars. Just can we maneuver our way through these cars? But we're going to go to the pit since it is a new stage, get a new tank. And we're actually going to fall to 24th. So lose a couple spots to fix some damage. But lights are starting to come on now. Stage two is about to begin here. And the green flag is back and we are underway racing. Bubba Wallace now has the lead. Looks like he had a nice, solid, different pit strategy. Probably didn't go four tires, but Bubba Wallace is back up to the lead. We're in 24th. Got the outside lane. Don't get a good run. Stenhouse is going to get below us. Denny, Jimmy Johnson, who we clip, is going to get below us as well. So right back to the 26th position. Jimmy Johnson actually, nice save on his car. But 54 laps also in stage number two. So very long race here at Darlington. Coming up now on the seven-time champion, Jimmy Johnson, obviously looking for that first win in quite a while in his last season. And he's going to, we're going to make the pass on Jimmy Johnson. Nice clean pass. They have a lot of speed coming off corners one and two, three and four, a different story as we catch up to the pack here on Stenhouse. Now going to take the inside on Stenhouse, fighting for 24th. And coming to the line, we looks like we are going to complete the pass. So next up is Chris Buescher in that 23rd position. And Buescher's going to block us, so Buescher not making it easy. Lap number 24 now still in 22nd, still behind Chris Buescher. We passed a couple cars, but it has been super hard to pass Chris Buescher. He is, as you can see, look, he's trying to go low, trying to block us again. Finally, we get a run on him. He can't block us, and we get past him. But it's it's been hard to get past Chris Buescher. He has been blocking me all race long. Now we're coming up on Justin Haley for 20th. Get the back of him, and he's going to go spinning, and we got ourselves another wreck. We hit the walk. No, 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 come back. Oh, crap. Well, I guess I got a little overzealous right there. Caused another wreck. Took some heavy damage. So the caution is out once more. We're obviously going to have to go to a pit, so it's going to take a couple of spots to repair this damage. As let's see how many spots that we fall back. Um, take a second. Looks like we're also going to tighten up this car. It's a little too loose for my liking. But we dropped seven spots, so back to 27th. Uh, I guess Justin Haley is behind us. Thankfully, he's not out of the race. So anybody that I've wrecked so far has not come out of the race. But green flag back in the air here at Darlington. About half the stage to go. And we restart in the 27th position. Still struggling with turns three and four. Make a little contact with Bubba, who's now back in 25th after leading a couple laps. As we go a little forward in the race, lap 32, we're in 33rd. Just I've had a hard time. Just The car is tighter, but it doesn't feel tighter. Now we're in the wall, just having a hard time keeping track of this car. Can't get off the wall. We're all the way back to 39th. That's last in the field as Michael Medal is actually out, so... Don't know what happened, but we got some ground to make up here. Stay Work our way past Chad Fincham. Trying to get past Quinn Houff now. Make up some ground. Still a long way to go in the stage. Got 20 laps to go. As we try to get 32nd, Ross Chastain not being friendly at all. I don't know why he's trying to block us so bad. He needs to get up and go. 
As we finally passed for 37. Now I gotta get past Ross Chastain, who is holding us up. So we do eventually get past Ross Chastain, but still in 37. Fincham actually got in front of us. And now we do complete the pass on Fincham. So we got some space in front of us. Time to make up some ground. Joey Gase trying to give us a hard time. Finally do make the pass for 34th. Ryan Priest coming up on him fast as he has very slow turns 3 and 4. Trying to get by him for 33rd and it looks like we will. So climbing up the field, 15 laps to go in stage number 2. Oh, caution is out right as we got into the top 30. Uh, let's see if I can tell who caused this caution. Um, doesn't look like I can as everybody just seems to be pitting. I wish to ask maybe Ross Chastain because he's the only one not pitting, but he's in the back of the field and you would think he would. But coming up on the restart, starting off in 32nd. Got about six, no, seven laps to go in stage two. It's going to be a shoot out to the end of the stage. I got a lot of cars in front of me. This is a good chance for us to make some ground. Six laps to go, or seven laps to go, excuse me. And we have a lot of cars in front of us that we can pass. We've passed Nemechek already before this race. I think that's Corey LaJoy in front of us. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, actually, it is not. That is Haley again. So we've passed them already before. That's Timmy Hill, excuse me. Timmy Hill's in front of us. So we get past Nemechek, 31st. Try to take the outside here on Hill. Tyler Reddick is now in front of us. Get into Hill. Please don't spin out. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's just so tight at this racetrack. It's so hard to pass without making some contact. Darlington is not my strong suit. But five laps to go in the stage. Finally trying to get past Timmy Hill. Able to make the pass. So into the top 30 once more. Can we get Tyler Reddick coming out of turn two? We got some nice speed coming out. Splitting the gap. Get by Reddick. Get by Johnson. And flying into the top 28. Coming to the line. Very good back stretch in turn three and four. Four laps to go here in stage number two. Let's see if we can make up some more ground here. Coming to the final stage. Turns two coming on the back stretch. Kurt Bush is actually leading stage two as Las Vegas native will take it. So Kurt Bush takes stage number two. 23rd trying to get past Chris Busher once more for 22nd and not gonna be able to. It's, he has just been hard to deal with all race. Chris Busher, you gotta move my guy, but I respect it. But we finished 23rd in stage number two. So finished 20 stage one, 23rd stage two. Not the best race. We just can't put it all together. As soon as we get some runs, I just make a dumb bonehead move, hit the wall, hit another car. Uh, it's just, it's been hard to pass people. But obviously, we're going to pit. Don't have any damage this time. Four new tires. Get a full tank of gas. And this is going to be a much longer stage three. Stage three is always longer than stage one and stage number two. So, we'll see if we can make up any spots coming out of pits. And we're still going to be in 23rd, but got the inside lane. Joey Logano actually fell 15 spots. Don't know what happened to him as he was at the top of the field. But nonetheless, ready to go here in stage number three. Green flag is ready to go. And here we go in the final stage of Darlington Raceway as it is 
67 laps here to the end of the Real Heroes 400. Who will take the final crown? Got a good restart loose in turn two. I think I might have made contact with Busher there. That was our pass two pass Busher. As now he's going to come down on us again. And now we got to work our way past Chris Busher once more to get through the pack. Make a loop move here on LaJoy. Get into the top 20. Kevin Harvick running all the way back here in 19th. That's very rare for his standards, but trying to work on Kevin Harvick now. We get into the side of him a little bit once more. He's got loose, but good save by Harvick. As I'm not sure if he came down on me or if I went up on him, but a little bit of contact there. But nonetheless, up to 19th now as we're probably the highest we've been. Oh no, coming out of the turn two. I hit the wall going way too fast. There is a caution. That wasn't because I hit the wall, but caution. We're probably going to go to the pits, and that little bit of damage right there will probably cost us some spots. Uh, yeah, it's going to take about two seconds to repair. Um, kind of need to pit anyway, but we're going to pit. Lose four spots back to 24th. Got to get by Chris Busher, who's on our inside again. As he just can't. Put it all together. I know it's been the moral of the story. But nonetheless, 42 laps to go here at Darlington. Will this be the last green flag run? Denny Hamlin is back in the lead. Your stage one winner. As we are underway here underneath the lights. As the front part of the pack pulling away a little bit. But we're going to see if we can catch up there. Nowhere really to go right now. So, just got to stay patient, wait for our spots, try to go low. We have a lot of success on the inside. We go side by side with Austin Dillon. And a hard time getting around him. High line running pretty well, but here we go. Get a run coming out of turn two. And we're going to make the pass on Dylan. So back up to 23rd. Now we got this whole slew of cars in front of us. Oops, sorry. Looks like I got a little bit of a battery notification. Sorry about that ping. But we're going to work our way past Haley once more. I feel like I've said that a lot of times. And another thing I've said a lot of times this race is we got to get past Chris Busher somehow. He goes a little high. This is our chance. But he's side by side with Alex Bowman. Not sure if I want to take it three wide. Actually not going to even have the chance to as they pull away for the time being. I got the 21st now still behind Chris Busher fighting for that top 20 spot. I mean look at him. He's just trying all he can to block us. But we get a little bit of space inside. Got to take advantage here side by side. And we're going to complete the pass. So crack into the top 20 once more. Passing Chris Busher. 35 to go. Coming up on 34 to go here in Darlington in the finals of this race. Oh, caution is out right as we were getting ready to pass for the... 18. Actually, that was a lap car. It's tied down in front of us, so we were starting to hit some lap traffic. But caution is out late. Can't really tell who it is. There's a lot of cars that are out. As I don't really know who it was, but this could be the final pit stop. We're not going to take a full tank of gas. Going to repair. Get four fresh tires. As a lot of people did the same strategy. So we're sitting in 19th here on the restart. It's going to be a shootout to the end. Is there only 12 more laps? Sorry, it took me a while to get that man. 12 more laps here to go at Darlington in the Real Heroes 400. Who's going to take the lead? Denny Hamlin still leading this race. He's got 12 more laps to fight. we got 12 more laps to try to get into the top 15. I do think we have a top 15 car. Can we make it work? Coming on the back stretch, got a little bit of a run. Almost hit Corey LaJoy. Going to work past him into 18th. I think it's the highest we've been all night. 
trying to force it three wide don't got the space oh look at this aggressive call get by ty dillon get by ty dillon into 17th the highest we've been all race 11 laps to go going to get some fresh faces now clint boyer but here comes ty dillon he gets a heck of a run kevin harvick behind him as well and then justin haley that a heck of a run by them on the front stretch we're in the wall getting past left and right what happened the high line did not work is that line of four cars just got a heck of a run puts us all the way back here at 21st we got 10 laps to go to try to improve our position Coming up on the last lap of the race, still sitting in 24th. Denny Hamlin's about half the track in front. He's coming out of turn four, and it looks like Denny Hamlin is going to win here at Darlington for the Real Heroes 400. We'll see if we can crack the top 20. We're going to get a good run here coming into the corner on Justin Haley. Coming out of turn four at his quarter panel. Can we slow him down? No, it doesn't look like we're going to get Justin Haley. So we're going to finish 21st here at Darlington. Bat on par where we ran all night long. As overall, just, I mean, not a race we're really happy with. Too much contact, too much spinning out. So we're lucky we even finished this race. As you see a wreck right here, Matt DiBenedetto earlier in the race. And he gets, wow, he gets absolutely annihilated by a couple cars. He did finish the race. But Denny Hamlin did win this one. He also won stage one. Kurt Busch won stage two. And we finished 21st, so it didn't get any points here in this one or stage points but we still sit fourth in the point standings as Denny Hamlin punches his ticket with us true X Harvick and Christopher Bell he also had the fastest lap he also led the most laps 140 laps so a very dominant performance by Denny Hamlin in number 11 Ty Dillon went from 39th all the way up to 18th he did start at the back of the field and then Ryan Newman started 6th, finished in 38th. So tough break for him. But that is the end of race 5. Race 6 is right back here at Darlington. As we're back coming to Darlington for the back to back. As this one will be the Toyota 500. It says Southern 500, but it's Toyota 500 in real life. But that is going to do it here for this one. Um, if you guys like NASCAR, make sure you sh show your support down below as this could be the last episode of the series. Um, I love this game. It's a lot of fun to play, but just hasn't gotten the support. So show out if you want it to continue as it'll be Darlington for the next race if we do the next race. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below, especially if you want more NASCAR content or franchise content in general. We just hit 100 subscribers. We're looking to hit a lot more. So thank you guys for watching. This is Mr. Rob, and I'll see you in the next one.